Last year, Norma and Maria Hurtado, a daughter and mother, were both shot to death inside their home. The suspect, Jose Aviles, is accused of killing them because he did not approve of his daughter's romantic relationship with Norma. There were rallies in the days after the deaths, with some people calling for the killings to be classified as a hate crime. Avila's trial got started today, and Chris Sadegi joins us now with more on what happened in the courtroom. Chris? Well, Leslie and Robert, the hitch in this case is not that the Avalis attorneys are trying to prove that their client did commit these murders. In fact, in opening statements, they even went as far to admit that he did. However, they're trying to show that the evidence needed for a capital murder conviction is not there. But the jury began hearing evidence this morning, and they heard about a relationship that not everyone approved of. Where's the front door to that residence? 14 bullets were left lying on the floor of the Hurtado household, and several witnesses in the neighborhood on Dixie Drive were called to the stand and said they saw two men running from the home, but only after hearing the reason why. I heard three or four more sounds exactly the same, and they sounded so much alike, I thought, now that's, that's not a someone beating on metal, that's a, that's, those are gunshots. Jose Avalis is charged with unloading the gun that killed Norma Hurtado and her mother Maria inside their home where his daughter Lydia was also staying with his four-year-old granddaughter. Avalis' son Humberto testified that he and his father went over to talk to Lydia and Norman about their relationship, but after a few angry words, Humberto saw his dad reach for his waistband. Automatically, you don't know what was going to happen. and. Apparently, I was so scared that I was running away. Avalis's defense attorneys say that he did not have issue with his daughter dating another woman, but was frustrated because she was sneaking out to see Norma and leaving her child behind. They also argue that a capital murder conviction is not appropriate by law because Avalis only intended to shoot Norma and not her mother. But an officer investigating the scene says it was a violent one. There was uh, a lot of blood, a lot of um, bullet casings. Um, it was kind of almost just, you know, uh, it's pretty gruesome. And just a few moments ago, the medical examiner testified that Norma Hurtado had a grand total of 20 bullet entry wounds. So the difference between capital murder and murder would be the possibility of parole. That's why the defense attorneys are fighting for murder, because the possibility of parole goes away with a capital murder conviction. The prosecution, however, is not seeking the death penalty. We're live at the Travis County Justice Complex. Chris Sadegi, KXAN News.